If you're looking for something interesting to do in Sarasota, then check out the famous Ringling Museum. Stay tuned to learn more about what you can expect and to plan your visit, as well as our personal thoughts and recommendations. We're Josh and Liz from That Florida Life, helping you live that Florida lifestyle you've been dreaming about. Whether you already live in Florida, are planning a vacation here, or thinking of moving here one day. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our Florida travel, lifestyle, and real estate videos. The Ringling Museum in Sarasota was founded in 1927 and built on 66 acres of land. This is an ode to the incredible John Ringling and Mabel Ringling, both of whom started from nothing and made their way to the top. The Ringling Complex includes the famous Ringling Mansion on the water, as well as a fascinating circus museum and the Museum of Art, which includes historic masterpieces from all around the world. The Ringling Museum is located in North Sarasota along the Bayfront. It's actually quite close to the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. The museum is just a short drive north of downtown Sarasota and a bit further north from the popular visitor areas like Siesta Key. John Ringling, a self-made entrepreneur, was one of seven Ringling brothers. He agreed to collaborate with the Barnum & Bailey Circus to bring something incredible to people all across the country through the art of traveling circuses. He played a significant role in changing everything within the circus world as they knew it, and it quickly led to the Ringling Brothers becoming known as the Circus Kings. Nearly 100 years ago, John Ringling decided to move the circus's home for the winter months to the beautiful Sarasota area. It was during a time when John and his wife, Mabel, were investing in real estate in Sarasota and ultimately falling in love with everything about the beautiful city. While it was a huge decision to make, the move benefited John Ringling and the Winter Circus as it became the biggest attraction in the city capturing the attention of many and turning Sarasota into the place to be during the winter months. The Circus Museum at the Ringling is absolutely fascinating, and it really took us by surprise. The interactive museum has something for everyone, from the costumes performers wore, as well as some really cool artwork and posters to promote the shows. You can review the archives to learn more about the performances and how they changed over the years. There are also some really fun interactive exhibits to enjoy, such as walking on a tightrope and even practicing shooting something out of a cannon. But the best part is their enormous diorama that displays the massive scale of the whole production when the circus came to town. I knew it was a big deal back in the day, but this exhibit really puts it all into perspective. The circus traveled with over 1,300 workers and over 800 animals. And when they arrived, it was like setting up an entire town for the show and then picking it back up to move to the next town. The diorama display is so big that you actually walk around it through multiple rooms. It is really cool, definitely don't miss it. And finally, you can also check out some of the actual train cars that the circus used for travel. See what it was like living in luxury back in the day at the Kadazan, which means the House of John. This is the famous Ringling Mansion on Sarasota Bay that John and Mabel Ringling once called home. Built in the 1920s, it became the coveted winter home for the couple and a famous landmark here in Sarasota. The Mediterranean style mansion takes up roughly 36,000 square feet and it's quite the sight to see. There's even an area to park a yacht behind the home. 
Another attraction on property is the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art. Long before his death, John became a collector of artwork, and he and Mabel built up quite the collection. This is a huge complex with multiple exhibit halls that span different buildings with beautiful courtyards that make you feel like you're in Europe. From tapestries to paintings, the Ringlings amassed quite an impressive art collection from all over the world. There are also historical artifacts, such as pottery from ancient China and even modern rotating exhibits with New Age artists. A trip to the Ringling Museum can take several hours at minimum. It really depends on how much you want to explore. You could just make it a quick trip, but if you really want to soak in the circus museum, the mansion, and the art museum, then I definitely think you need to spend the better part of a day here. If anything, plan to spend at least three to four hours at minimum just to ensure that you aren't super rushed. Still, I think you could even spend more time if you really wanted to explore everything. Ticket prices start at around $25 for adults and $5 for kids, and those under six are free. Discounts are available, so be sure to check out their website for current pricing and more details. Buy your tickets online in advance, and then you can skip the line when you arrive. Kids may enjoy certain aspects of visiting the Ringling Museum. In particular, the Circus Museum can be a lot of fun. There are lots of colorful costumes and also many interactive exhibits, including some videos they can watch too. However, the Ringling Mansion and the Art Museum might be of less interest to children. When the kids get restless, there are some open grassy areas and even a playground where the kids can get some of their energy out with swings, slides, and fountains too. There are multiple food options around the property. You can visit Mabel's Coffee and Tea to grab a quick sip and a bite to eat, or you can stop by the Ringling Grill Room or Ringling Concessions, and there's even a wandering food truck around property. Coolers are allowed, so if you'd like to save some money, you can actually pack a lunch or some snacks. The Ringling Museum in Sarasota is a fantastic museum to visit here in Florida. To learn more, check out our complete blog post on our website and for links to buy your tickets. We were really impressed with this museum and had a lot of fun. It's definitely a place that we would even go back to again, especially for the Circus Museum. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.